The narrow lanes of Dera are buzzing with people on most days, but today, on a Friday evening of Ramadan, you can see a long serpentine queue of fasting Muslims stretching for nearly a kilometer. Some of these people have been waiting for more than an hour with one thing on their mind the kanji or mutton porridge as they call it in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Since when have you been standing in the line? I came here at 5.30 and that uh, distribution is started at 6, 6 o'clock. This is a very uh, good taste and uh, we are used to uh, use this one uh, for iftar. Do you come here every day in the line? Yes, of course. This charity project is organized by the Indian Muslim Association in Dubai at Luta Mosque near the Gold Souk. An estimated 4,500 Muslims end their fast here daily in what is believed to be one of the largest and oldest iftars in Dubai. The cultural center also serves iftar to 2,000 people in two other mosques. While some are lucky to find a spot inside the air-conditioned mosque, most of them struggle to sit outside on the blue plastic sheets that are spread across one and a half kilometers around the mosque. So more in Tamil Nadu in the masjid, they will each and every masjid you can see they will provide this kanji, it's called Nombu kanji. In all masjid they will provide the Nombu kanji. Without Nombu kanji, I think maybe uh, without kanji, they will not uh, attend the iftar also. That much uh, the kanji is very famous in our Tamil Nadu. So are you the largest kitchen in Dubai? Uh, yeah, for the kanji, we are the large, largest kitchen in, in Dubai. Not only Dubai, UAE, the total UAE. Here's a look at the kitchen that prepares the mutton porridge, which is the speciality of this iftar. The broth includes rice, lentil, coriander and other herbs. Ten people start preparing this at 5 in the morning and they don't get done until 11 a.m. Ten giant simmering pots are prepared in all. We are talking about 70 kilos of meat, 135 kilos of rice and 35 kilos of lentil. Some of these worshippers have been coming here since the cultural centre was established more than 30 years ago. As soon as the prayers are heard, the smell of kanji wafts through the air as the packets are opened together. Soon after, hordes of people rush inside the mosque for Maghrib prayer. It is a sight to behold as thousands of worshippers bow down in complete submission to God. And at once you immerse in a state of complete spiritual bliss.